Egyptian anomalies science can't explain. Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. The ancient Egyptians had a thriving society for hundreds of years. Some of what they knew and did remains as mysteries of the past. Let's take a look at some of the intriguing parts of ancient Egyptian culture, what we've learned over the years, and what remains unknown. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. 18. How the Pyramids Were Built We're guessing you've heard this one before. To this day, scientists aren't sure how ancient Egyptians built the pyramids of Giza. Thousands of years ago, humans lacked the technology to create such massive, well-made structures. Some speculate that aliens or dinosaurs may have helped them. Physicists from the University of Amsterdam think the ancient Egyptians may have used wet sand to reduce friction when hauling huge bricks. Old wall illustrations appear to show Egyptians wetting sand, though there isn't a lot more evidence to offer other than that. What we do know is that slaves did not build the pyramids. Paid laborers built these monuments, as evidenced by historical records and graffiti on the walls. 17. What they looked like the 1963 Cleopatra film now receives a lot of criticism because Elizabeth Taylor, a white woman, plays Cleopatra. Even though Cleopatra was Greek and not Egyptian, it's still hard to say what anyone looked like back then. The ancient Egyptians provided us with a lot of paintings, sculptures, and mummies, yet experts can't know for sure. The Greek historian Herodotus described the Egyptians as melancholic, which translates to black-skinned. This description doesn't necessarily mean they looked black because Herodotus used a different word for the people living more south in Africa. He referred to those groups as dark-skinned. Experts speculate that Egypt was probably a racially diverse place because the presence of the Nile River helped draw in people from all different regions. 16. The Lost Labyrinth the Lost Labyrinth supposedly existed over 2,500 years ago. It was said to be more vast than the pyramids, but we don't even know where it is. Roman geographer Pomponius Mela described the building to have been two stories tall, complete with 3,000 different rooms that were all connected through passages that were continually winding. Herodotus said the maze made all the works of the Greeks appear lesser in both effort and expense. However, ancient Greek orator Aelius Aristides believed that this so-called labyrinth was rhetorical and more about the overall greatness of Egypt. In 2008, georadar specialists scanned a 1,000-foot stone plateau that they think was the labyrinth's foundation. The scan showed that there were underground passageways that were similar to what historians described. The plateau itself has yet to be excavated. 15. The Sphinx in Israel did you think you'd ever come across an Egyptian sphinx in a country that's, well, not Egypt? The archaeologists in this story did not. While excavating an ancient site in Tel Hazor, Israel, they discovered a fragment of a statue, measuring 17.7 by 15.7 inches. The piece appeared to be the foot of the statue, found north of the Sea of Galilee. Judging from the scale of the foot, experts say that the complete figure probably equals the size of a fully grown adult. No one can explain what a 4,000 piece of ancient Egypt is doing in Israel, though it is most likely a gift from King Mycerinus, whose name is is inscribed at the bottom. 14. Mummy Mysteries When you mummify something, you are preserving a body that used to be a living thing. Sounds simple, yet the mummification process that Egyptians used has remained a mystery to modern people for a long time. Remember our good old friend Herodotus that we mentioned before? Thanks to his extensive writings on the subject, we know more about this process. His papers say that the whole procedure takes 70 days. They remove everything inside and then wrap the body in hundreds of yards of linen and resin. Modern scientists didn't test out this process until 1994, which resulted in the perfect mummy, finally solving how the Egyptians did it. 13. What's heating the pyramids? A few years ago, archaeologists spent two weeks thermal scanning the Giza pyramids. From this scanning, they identified anomalies in these enormous structures. They examined the changing temperatures of the monuments from sunrise and sunset, which helps experts determine any internal air currents, the building materials, and any empty spaces. The first level of the pyramids appeared to be uniform, but they noticed that a handful of stones were showing higher temperatures. There's thought to be a small passage in the ground that could lead to an area with a different temperature. Since the pyramids are fragile, reaching that spot may be unmanageable, so as of now, experts can only guess what's behind those warmer stones. 12. The Writings on the Wall 
A hieroglyph is a form of pictogram, characters based on pictures. If you've ever seen different wall writings from this old culture, you might have noticed they don't all look the same. That's because there are four types of hieroglyphic writing. Word signs, determinatives, alphabetic, and syllabic. Word signs and alphabetic are straightforward and are not too different from what we use today. Then there's syllabic, which were pictures that represented phonetic sounds. Finally, there are determinative hieroglyphs that represent ideas instead of a sound, however that works. One of the most significant hieroglyphic discoveries from Egypt was the Rosetta Stone. At the time, the elite spoke Greek, which explains why the stone tablet is written in both Greek and Egyptian. This discovery helped historians decipher the text of the ancient Egyptians. 11. The Unknown Queen In 2015, Czech archaeologists discovered the resting place of what they initially called the Unknown Queen. She was later referred to as Kentkeus III or Kentekewes III and was found to have lived during the 5th dynasty sometime in 2450 BC. Before this excavation, there had been no prior knowledge of such a queen ever existing. From the inscriptions in her resting place, it appears she was the wife of a king and the mother of another king, implying her son took the throne. 10. What happened to Tut? Despite what the Spike Network show Tut depicted, King Tut probably looked nothing like Avin Jogia, the young actor who played the pharaoh. King Tut fell ill all the time and was incredibly deformed. Scientists that examined his DNA saw he had an immense amount of genetic disabilities, leading to the conclusion his parents must have been brother and sister. His deformities were so severe that someone always had to help him stand up. He only lived to be 19 years old, ruling for 10 years. The reason for his passing eludes historians to this day. One theory is that a hippopotamus killed him. 9. Women's Rights in this day and age, women are still fighting to obtain the same rights and freedoms as men. It's interesting to hear that thousands of years ago, the women in Egypt had a broader range of entitlements compared to the females in other parts of the world at the same time, and even now. Although it wasn't common for the Egyptian women to work outside the home, when they did, they received equal pay to their male counterparts. The law allowed them to buy and sell property, make wills, enter legal contracts, and serve on a jury. They also had the right to divorce and remarry. 8. The Land of Punt The Land of Punt was a significant trading partner for Egypt, producing and exporting items like gold, ivory, and wild animals. Punt was an ancient kingdom, sometimes referred to as the Land of God. That place sounds pretty great, right? Researchers couldn't tell you where it is, though. Its exact location has continued to be debated. Most scholars think it was southeast of Egypt, likely around Djibouti, Somalia, or northeast Ethiopia. 7. Workers on Strike You would think that since they considered their ruler a living god amongst humans that people would be more fearful of the pharaoh. However, Egypt wasn't as totalitarian as you might have previously believed. Workers often organized strikes to protest for better working conditions. You would too if you were hauling rocks around in the hot sun and endlessly carving structures. One of the most prominent strikes occurred under the reign of Ramses III of the New Kingdom in the 12th century BC. Laborers building the royal necropolis in Deir el Medina did not receive their usual grain payment and then made one of the first recorded strikes in history. It worked and the laborers received their rations. 6. The Dendera Light Benjamin Franklin discovered electricity in the 1700s. Thomas Edison didn't invent the light bulb until the late 1800s. Could the Egyptians have had this technology at their fingertips centuries before these scientific innovations we just mentioned? Some people think so. The Dendera Light refers to a motif located in the Hathor Temple of Dendera, Egypt. For some people, the illustration resembles a light bulb, suggesting that Egyptians had knowledge and access to electricity. Egyptologists believe that this is just a depiction of a pillar and lotus flower with a snake that's spawning within. 5. Everyone wore makeup More and more people of all genders are showing off their makeup skills on social media. If we went back just a decade ago, you probably couldn't say the same fad was happening, at least not so openly. If we go back hundreds of years ago to Europe, men in makeup was indeed a thing. If we go back thousands of years ago, we'd see that ancient Egyptians were on that makeup for all trend too. Both sexes wore makeup back then. They believed a large amount of makeup granted them the protection of their gods Ra and Horus. 4. Pyramid of Jedefre 
The highest point of any pyramid in Egypt is now in ruins. Son and successor to King Khufu, Jedefre desired to have the tallest monument in the land. He even had it built on a hill to ensure this position, but it doesn't seem he ever got his wish. Although it's destroyed now, research indicates that it may never have been finished in the first place. All that's left is the base. It's not clear what happened. Perhaps Jedefre passed away before it was completed. Maybe the Romans ransacked it 2,000 years ago. Others say his subjects hated him so much that upon his death, they destroyed it. 3. Pharaohs were overweight From all the statues and drawings, it seems most ancient Egyptians, especially the leaders, were all tall and slender. This portrayal is not accurate. You wouldn't weigh as light as a feather if all you ate was bread, wine, and beer. Examinations on the remains of royals attest to the idea that many pharaohs were overweight. Queen Hatshepsut most likely was obese, though many illustrations of her portray her as otherwise. 2. Queen Nefertiti There were many queens in Egypt. Queen Nefertiti among the most famous of these queens, yet we don't know what happened to her. We know that she was married to Pharaoh Akhenaten. Around the 12th year of his rule, all mention of her in historical documents cease. Historians think that she is the mother of King Tut. When archaeologists scanned a secret chamber in his burial place, they found nothing there. There's no record of her death, and some offer up the idea that perhaps she took over after her husband's reign and changed her name. It raises the question of whether or not she was as important as modern researchers think she is. Before we reveal number one, we have a question for you. If you were an ancient ruler, what would you want modern historians to remember you for? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Inside the Great Pyramid The Great Pyramid of Giza, also called the Pyramid of Khufu, is the largest and oldest of the three pyramids in Giza. It measures 481 feet tall and consists of 2.3 million blocks of granite and limestone. The Egyptians built it some 4,500 years ago for Pharaoh Khufu. When a team of researchers scanned the pyramid in 2017, the results revealed there might be a hidden chamber as big as its largest room. No corridors or pathways lead to it, which hints that maybe the Egyptians didn't want the place to be accessed. Whatever sits in that room is something that Khufu wished to be locked away forever. Ah!